What's going on guys? This is Brad, owner over here at Snake Eater Performance. And today we have a special opportunity. One of our first Pro Series sets of injectors is going out. And so what I wanted to do is take the opportunity to show you guys what it looks like from start to finish, how we take a genuine Bosch injector, make it into a Snake Eater Performance Pro Series injector, preparing it for all known hydrocarbon fuels, all known ECUs that are high impedance, and also making them race ready for you guys. So the very first step is we open the box of injectors. This is how we receive the injectors. So this particular set of injectors is gonna be based off of this injector right here. So the very next step we do is we load them onto the ASNU Classic GDI. The first thing we do is run about 2000 injections per injector through the injectors in order to get them warmed up <clears throat> eliminate any temperature variabilities and get our pressure settings right. So here we have our injector DNA software that controls the ASNU Classic machine. And what this is gonna do is after we give it a few different inputs, it's gonna start telling the machine exactly how many injections to put the injectors through. And then we can measure their flow rates at three different points. So once the software has told the ASNU machine to fill the tubes to a certain amount, we can evaluate the flow match. If there is a flow match, then we'll continue on to two more tests. If there is no flow match, then we throw it in what we call a breakdown bin by its flow rate so that when we find six, seven, eight more like it, we know that there will be a perfect match. So according to our software, after we did our inputs, this particular set has a flow match at the high point, which is 15 milliseconds of 1.2%. We're going to go ahead and move on to the low flow test. Okay, so now the low flow test is done. We're going to go ahead and give the software the required information. It looks like we're going to have a really nice flow match. After that, we're going to move on to one more test, which is about 2.5 milliseconds. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we want a good flow match at idle pulse widths. So far, we've tested at 25% injector duty cycle, which is five milliseconds pulse width, and 75% injector duty cycle, which is about 15 milliseconds. And so that's all really good, but if you want really nice cylinder to cylinder consistency in your idle tuning, you've gotta do this next one as well. So after you give the software a high and low flow rate, it, go ahead, it goes ahead and computes out high, low flow, injector offset. And then here's what really matters, your high flow match, your low flow match, and then your offset match, which is down here at 5%. So this is exactly what we're looking for right out of the box. So this last one we can't do in the software interface because we can't modify it so we have to just do it inside the excel sheet and that's what we call the calibration test and this is how we ensure the best cylinder to cylinder consistency at idle at your very low pulse widths and that's going to be just outside of the non-linear zone of the injector which means we determine where short pulse adder information is required and we go just outside of that so something that you can see right here since it is such small pulse widths and delivering such small amounts of fuel, we have to test this particular injector at almost 2,000 injections. So that's just what it requires to give us enough fluid in the tubes to see any kind of variance. If you were to just come in here and only do a couple injections, say 10, 20, or maybe even a few dozen, you would not be able to detect any variance. So we're in here running about, about 2,000 injections just on this one test. All right, so this is the kind of stuff that you can expect with the Pro Series injectors. This is going to be your idle flow match, and this is right out of the box. I mean, that's pretty incredible. And so here you go. Here's your final flow match numbers. This is 15 milliseconds, 5, 2.5, and then this is your offset. These are pretty incredible numbers. The last thing that we do is we number each one of the injectors with a permanent marker so that you know which one of those injectors flowed what. And if you do need a replacement for any reason in the future, you can tell us specifically, I wanna replace injector number six, seven, eight. 